Hello everyone. My name is Sejal Jain, B.Sc. Fifth Sem, B.H. From Dr. Hisingor University, Sagar. My topic is Principles of Innate and Adaptive Immune System. So before moving to a topic, we have to know about the basic of immune system. So let's get started. The question is, what is the immune system? The immune system. is the body's natural defense includes molecules cells tissues and organs which provide non specific and specific protection against disease causing agents such as bacteria viruses and parasites in other words we can say that immune system is a biological structure and processes within an organism that protects against disease by identifying and killing pathogens and tumor cells microbes that are capable of causing disease called pathogen and ability of causing disease is called pathogenicity defense of the immune system the human immune system is divided into two broad group first is innate immune response or innate immunity which is first line of defense and non specific and second one is adaptive immune response or adaptive immunity which is second line of defense and highly specific with memory innate immune response or innate immunity the innate immune response are the first line of defense against invading pathogens innate immune response are not specific to a particular pathogen and it come to play immediately or within hours of an antigen's appearance in the body these mechanisms include physical barriers such as skin and chemical barriers such as lysozyme in our tears innate immunity is present by birth innate immunity or innate defense also includes surface barriers skin mucous membrane and internal defense which is phagocytes fever nk cells antimicrobial proteins in fermentation important components of innate immunity natural killer cells which is nk cells they kills virus infected cells neutrophils they usually ingest and destroy microbes macrophages and dendritic cells and their function is they ingest and destroy microbes and present antigen to helper t cell interferons inhibit viral replication and then transferrin and lactoferrin they sequester iron required for bacterial growth fever elevated temperature retards bacterial growth then last one is inflammatory response it limits to the spread of microbes then adaptive immune response or we can say adaptive immunity the adaptive immunity is also known as acquired immunity and the adaptive immune response provide the vertebrate immune with the ability of recognize and remember specific pathogens to generate immunity the cells of adaptive immune system are a type of leukocyte called a lymphocyte b and t cells can create memory cells to defend against future attacks by the 
same pathogen. It is the second line of defense and it arises with a rise in infection. An adaptive defense includes humoral immunity, B cells and cellular immunity, T cells. T and B lymphocytes. Lymphocytes in human circulating blood are approximately 80 to 90 percent T cells and 10 to 20 percent B cells. Recall that the T cells are involved in the cell mediated immune response, whereas B cells are part of the humoral immune response. Some T cells respond to APC which means antigen presenting cells of the innate immune system and direct indirectly induce immune response by releasing cytokines. Other T cells stimulate B cells to prepare their own response. Another population of T cells detects APC signals and directly kills the infected cells. B and T cell cells exhibit a common theme of recognizing of specific antigens with a complementary receptor followed by activation and self amplification of specifically bin to the particular antigen of the infecting pathogen. T and B lymphocytes are also similar in that each cell only express one type of antigen receptor. Any individual many possess a population of T and B cells that together express a near limitless variety of antigen receptors that are capable of recognizing virtually any infection pathogen. T and B cells are activated when they recognize small components of antigens called epitopes present presented by APC antigen presenting cells. Now difference between innate and adaptive immune system. So the innate immunity is general and non-specific <coughs> while adaptive immunity is built up as we are exposed to disease. <coughs> Innate immunity is first line of defense while adaptive immunity is second line of defense. Innate immunity is short or immediate while adaptive immunity is slower than innate. Innate immunity have no memory while adaptive immunity have highly specific with memory. Innate immunity can be inherited from one generation to another generation, while adaptive immunity cannot be inherited from one generation to another generation. Innate immunity present by present, present at birth, while adaptive immunity develops over the lifespan in the individual. Here is a figure innate and adaptive immune system. So against specific pathogens or changed body cells there is adaptive defense. Defense cells in the blood B lymphocytes, antibodies, defense cells in the tissues T lymphocytes. While against foreign bodies, injuries and pathogens there is innate defense, bacteria killing substances, protection on the outside skin, protection on the inside all mucous membranes, first attacks in the tissue scavenger cells. Then our last topic is significance of immune system. A properly functioning immune system helps you go about daily life as you come 
into contact with germs and birds from pets other people and your environment without a healthy immune system you could pick up infections and infectious disease more easily and the effects could be serious even fatal our body's first line of defense is its physical barriers if viruses and bacteria manage to break through there are specialized cell cells that will jump into action sometimes our immune system can overreact and even attack your body's own cells this is what happens in the case of allergies like heavy fever and autoimmune diseases it's it is why donated blood and organs must be very carefully matched it's easy to take the immune system for granted because it it does such a good job at keeping us free from infection around the clock if you have got a healthy immune system look after it and it will look after you so thank you so much for today's topic of principles of innate and immune system thank you so much